Gadget Girl here at camp on day 79. We're setting out this morning from Trout Creek. As usual, the trail started with a little bit of a climb. It's leveling out, but I think we've got more climbing to do. So this is probably a temporary reprieve. But it's pretty today. We're getting out a little earlier. Hopefully it'll be a nice day. Passing the intersection of the Half Mile Trail to Pickle Branch Shelter here. But we don't need a rest or anything, so we're just gonna keep on hiking. Here just past the shelter is an old stone fence, undoubtedly built by some of the early settlers for a land boundary marker. Having a little break this morning with a blueberry almond crisp cliff bar. Trail's getting pretty rocky right here. We're passing some big boulders. And it's warming up. So it's a little harder work, but we'll do it. Quite a bit of rocky outcroppings here on this ridge top we gotta get through. Rhododendron and the Mount Laurel are still both beautiful. And just like that, Rosie and I have made 700 miles. Once again, we have a second 700 mile marker. <laughs> Small campsite here, three miles into today's hike. We're hiking through a little bit of an unusual section tra trail here. Um, it's all thick leaves. It feels very cushy underneath. They're all gathered here right on the trail. We don't very often have that. Yep, back there after a rock scramble is the trail. And up there somewhere, obviously involving another rock scramble, is the trail. are headed for Dragon's Tooth. Maybe this is Dragon's Scales. Lots of standing up rocks right in this section. And we are reaching a very nice view here now. This is Ledges. Actually, the little spot back there was not ledges. This is ledges. Equally good view. And there actually is a little rock ledge here. Now on to Dragon's Tooth next. More views. The snake enjoying the view. And we have made it to Dragon's Tooth. And here 
here's kind of the center of the dragon's tooth before you go up to the pinnacle. Got a lizard friend here today. He's up visiting his cousin, the dragon on dragon's tooth. Yes, indeed, that narrow ledge is the trail. The trekking poles are not any help, that's for sure. The ledges do not get much better for a while. The trail keeps giving with more rocks. Rock scramble, rock scramble, rock scramble. Talk about an understatement. More rock ledges. Today has been almost nothing but rock ledges, but also some beautiful views. All right, we finally seem to be getting back into something that more resembles a normal trail. Um, I might have been exaggerating when I said today had been almost nothing but rock scrambling, but at the time it seemed like it had been several miles of rock scrambling. So anyway, hopefully the trail is gonna smooth out and be a little bit better so we can finish our day reasonably. All right, we are at the intersection of the Appalachian Trail and the Boy Scout Trail, which leads to Dragon's Tooth Parking. We've come to Virginia Route 624. Um, still need to keep going. Got another six miles to do. We've got a little bit of Creekside walking now through a little wooded area. A little bit easier going. Hopefully, well, I hate to even say it. It would be nice if it would stay this way. And now we're coming through a cow pasture, complete with cow and calves. Cow pastures going across this little bridge into the woods. Oh, 
We've reached the construction area for the new pedestrian bridge. You gotta go around this somehow.